Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a quick look at and installing the Luminix LED rear emblem available for the 15 and newer F-150, excluding the limited and platinum models which have different rear tailgates. You should be checking this out if you're looking to replace the boring factory Ford Oval blue emblem with one that's not only blacked out to give you a more stealthy rear end appearance, but one that also has built-in LEDs to work in conjunction with either your taillights or your brake lights. Now, this option here is definitely going to be a little bit more premium for the guys looking to spend a little bit more money on an emblem that does a huge amount of difference and a huge change at the rear end of the vehicle. Now this guy is a black ABS plastic with a smooth matte black finish and it's got raised text in almost a clear or transparent white that gives you the Ford emblem and the trim around it which also illuminates in an extremely bright red LED. This LED is going to be a whole lot brighter than your factory running lights or tail lights at the rear end as well. It's definitely going to stand out and look a whole lot different than the other F-150s out on the road. Now, I will say you have the option of wiring it in to your tail lights or you can wire them into your brake lights. Now, if you run them to your tail lights, then all you're going to have to do is wire them in and anytime you turn your headlights on and your tail lights come on, this will come on as well, which is exactly what you see here. The alternative would be to wire it into your brake lights and have them only illuminate when you hit the brake pedal. It's obviously personal preference, but the option is extremely easy to do one or the other. Once you get back to the wiring harness here, you just pick which wire you want to go to. Now, as far as the wiring, it is going to be pretty straightforward. It's a little bit tricky to feed the wiring harness through the tailgate and then back over to behind the taillight. But once you get it down, I'd recommend using a coat hanger for it. It's going to make life a little easier. But once you get it there, it's simple and straightforward. The price comes in at right around 190 bucks. Again, a premium price tag, but a very unique emblem to say the least. The install is going to get two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter because it does require some of that wiring but again it is pretty straightforward you're just going to unclip the factory emblem from underside of the tailgate and you're just going to swap them out run some wires splice them in using quick splice connectors and you'll be good to go i'm going to show you every step of the process here it'll take you about an hour maybe two from start to finish depending on your experience what do you say we get started tools used in this install include an impact gun ratchet eight millimeter socket t25 torx bit needle nose pliers and a panel removal tool First up here, drop your tailgate. We're gonna grab a T25 Torx bit to remove the Torx screws holding on this cover here on the inside of your tailgate. So grab your impact gun or your ratchet and get those off. All right, now if you have a spray on bed liner like we do here, it may be caked on a little bit, so you might need to grab maybe a flathead or something like that or a panel removal tool to pry up underneath. But we got ours broken free. You're gonna grab that, and I'm gonna set it right inside the truck bed. So now we have access to the inside. All right, so now underneath of the trunk latch mechanism is the back end of your factory Ford emblem on the tailgate. I'm gonna stick my arm in here with a flathead screwdriver just to point out these clips. On each corner, there's a clip like this, this metal clip. We have to basically pinch from the inside and push from the inside out to disconnect it. These little retaining plastic pins here help guiding it into place. You don't have to push on those much. You're basically just gonna pinch in these metal clips, one here, one here, and then the same thing on the other side and push down. It's gonna be definitely tricky, but it is something that can be done. All right, so what I'm doing now is using a panel removal tool on the oval emblem from the outside of the tailgate while pinching those metal clips from the inside with a pair of pliers. If you're gonna do this method, you wanna make sure you're using something plastic not to damage your paint. And there we have it. All right, so we got our factory Ford badge off of our tailgate here on our 17 F-150. And it's on the tailgate next to our Luminix LED emblem. And I wanna take you through some similarities and differences. And I know it is pretty straightforward, but there might be a couple of things you're not really aware of here. First off, the wiring is pre-integrated all the way into the back of that emblem there. All you're gonna have to do is run that wiring to your taillight to splice it into the light functionality. Now, as far as materials, your new emblem here is all ABS plastic. It's got a nice smooth matte black finish to the entire emblem itself. And as far as the shape and design, it does of course still maintain the Ford emblem traditional logo, but 
It's got its slight differences compared to the factory one. Your factory emblem is a completely smooth oval. It's very curved, not angular at all. Your new emblem here actually is a little bit more angular. It's got a harder edge going into the inside of the oval, and then the ring that you would traditionally get in chrome on your factory one, the really thin chrome line here, is raised up off the surface of the materials, and that's also an LED. And then finally, the Ford lettering is raised up equally on the actual emblem itself, and that's gonna illuminate as well. So, slightly more angular, a little bit more aggressive looking, and of course, you're uh, replacing the blue oval with now a matte black oval, so it's got that black or stealthier finish at the rear. The actual illumination of the emblem will be red, so it mimics sort of the running light functionality there that you get from your taillights in red. Now, the next step we're gonna actually have to do is a little bit different in mounting as opposed to how we used the factory emblem. We have a couple of threaded studs we have to install on the back. Four are included in the kit. Two of them are gonna be used on our 17 F-150 here, but depending on how your factory emblem was mounted, you may need to use different mounting holes on the back there. There are four pre-drilled, pre-threaded holes on the back of the emblem. Again, only two are gonna be used for ours. So next up, I'm gonna show you guys that. Let's install those studs on the back here and we'll move forward. All right, now when it comes to installing our studs, you wanna make sure that you have the Ford logo oriented properly as it's going to sit inside of the tailgate there. So. We wanna make sure we can read it, and then we're gonna flip it face down toward us like that. Now, there are four threaded holes on the back. We're only gonna be using the two outer ones. Now, depending on how your factory emblem mounted to your tailgate, you may need to use the two inner ones. Just have a look on the inside and see where those holes are. So I can see that I was on the outside, so I'm gonna grab these studs, and you can see the little markings on one side. I'm basically gonna thread that right into the emblem there, just like that, all the way down. You can choose to use blue Loctite if you'd like, but it's not completely necessary. Do that on both sides. So once you have that threaded all the way down, we're gonna basically seat this from the outside in underneath of our tailgate. The studs will come through the mounting holes, whether it be on the outside or the inside. Grab the nuts and you'll tighten it down with your ratchet. Then we're gonna set up our wiring harness in a position that it works with our tail light. I'm gonna start by feeding in a wiring harness and I'm gonna pull it up through with the emblem. Now once you have that through, grab a couple of the nuts and tighten it down from the inside. All right, so we're actually gonna grab an eight millimeter and tighten this guy down. do the same thing on both studs. The next step is pretty tricky. We're gonna take this wiring harness and before we plug it into our additional harness, we're gonna feed it through our tailgate. So basically there's an opening right around here that feeds straight back into the middle. Now you'll know where the hole is because there's a grommet with a wiring harness coming out of it through here. So what we're gonna do is just squeeze that harness through and try to feed it back through the other side. All right, so what we did here as a trick was to just tape the wiring to a coat hanger and we just fed the coat hanger through and then once you get to the other side right now I'm just untaping it so we can get the wiring off of it. All right there we have it. All right so now that we have these fed through we still have a little bit more feeding through to do but before we go that far let's plug in the rest of our wiring harness. So these are basically just plug and play. Take the black wire and the black wire and plug them in. You'll hear a click. Do the same thing for the red. Perfect. Now for the rest of this, we're gonna feed it into the rest of that grommet here, right on the edge, and then we can crawl under our truck and pull it through. Then we're gonna feed that all the way over to our driver's side tail light. All right, so take the end of that where the open wiring is. We're gonna feed that through that grommet. I'm gonna feed um, as much as I can through really by hand, just to make life a little bit easier. Now, that should be good. Now we can go through and pull the rest in, so let's go under the truck. All right, from under the truck, we're gonna pull the rest of that wiring harness through. And next, I'm gonna feed it over the frame to our driver's side. Just like that. We're gonna feed all the excess through. Go straight up toward your driver's side taillight with both of them. All right, so once you get it up there, it should just be able to like hang out there. 
and then we're gonna pop our tail light off and feed it through up there. All right, next up we gotta pop our tail light off. So grab an eight millimeter socket, I'm gonna use my impact gun and remove the two bolts. From there, pull straight back. Now this part's not required, but I am gonna recommend just disconnecting the tail light all together and setting it aside. So just pinch, pinch, and set this guy down. All right, so now you can stick your hand in here, grab the wiring harness, and you can pull it through. Just wanna make sure that you have both the red and the uh, black wires. All right, so here we have the red and the black, and now we can splice them into our power and ground on our tail lights, so they come on when we turn our tail lights on. All right, now our brown connector is our tail light, the green connector is the reverse light, so we don't wanna focus on the green at all. I'm gonna peel back some of this protective covering on our wires so we can expose a little bit more of them. You have three wires. Your colors may be different, but if they are the same, the black and the yellow stripe is your ground, the gray and the orange stripe is your brake light, and the blue is your running light or the tail light. The blue and the black are the two we're gonna focus on because we don't need the brake light. Now this guy here is the blue, so we're gonna focus on that guy first. The blue is our tail light. Grab the quick splice connector, insert it over the wire so the wire is completely in there. Grab the red wire from the ones we just fed up. This is your power. Insert that into the other hole on the side so that they're both all in together and pinch it with your fingers. Grab a pair of pliers, I'm gonna use needle nose and I'm gonna crimp down this metal and it's gonna make contact with both wires giving us the power. All right, click it all the way down. Give that red wire a tug to make sure it's secure. And then from there, you can close it up. So now we have power connection. Do the same thing for the black wire going to the black with yellow stripe. All right, so like I said, do the same thing to your black wire. Tug the black, close it up shop and now we can reinstall our tail light. But first, I'd suggest checking to make sure your emblem works. Once you make sure that it works and it functions properly, then you can go back and reinstall our tail light. So let's move forward with the tail light. All right, so we confirmed that our emblem works. We're just gonna plug in our lights back into our tail lights. Each connector is gonna go back to itself. Tuck in some of that excess wiring and reconnect the tail lights to the body. All right, grab the factory bolts and put them back through. The only step left here really is to grab the plate and put it back on the inside of your tailgate. Grab those factory Torx screws and put them back through. All right, the actual last step, and this is optional, is to feed the rest of your harness underneath the truck body and zip tie them back. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Luminix LED rear emblem available for the 15 and newer F-150 without the limited or platinum packages. Again, if you're looking for a light that is completely different than your factory emblem, something that's gonna swap out the blue for a nice blackout version, but give you bright red LEDs, this is a great way to go. Pick yours up right here at americantrucks.com.